and where you're from. Ah, uh, yes, I'm from uh, Rochester, and um, I have a son currently at Adams High School. So I'm the current legislative chair of Adams High School, and I'm also the uh, council chair for the Rochester PTA Council Legislative Committee. Okay, and so what are, what are you doing here today at the advocacy uh, meeting? Uh, once a year, uh, PTA Advocacy Michigan PTA gets together. We discuss uh, current legislative issues. We also discuss ways of uh, better advocating for our children. So it's a, an educational day. It helps us bring things back to our communities and. Um, um, uh, better, uh, better serve our community to get out and advocate for our kids. So, and are some of the what are some of the sessions that you um, are interested in? Have you looked at the schedule to see what uh, you're going to be talking about? Today? I did, you know, and I always, I always just sort of uh, write it out because my experience here has been is the speaker that I think is nothing to offer is the one that I always end up taking tidbits. So I'm just excited to hear somebody tell me something that I, I haven't heard or give me a new fresh idea. So that's usually generally what I get from this. Are you going to be at the rally this afternoon also? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. So the rallies for both uh, bullying legislation as well as the governor's uh, budget on, uh, and obviously the school funding is why we're here, and we're just hoping that uh, we can maybe change a few minds. Have you spoken to Representative McMillan? I know he's been uh, one of the advocates of a different uh, anti-bullying legislation. Have you had any conversations with him about the anti-bullying uh, legislation? We just spoke through, you know, via email in, uh, in, in his office. And, I, you know, I think his intentions overall are good and so are ours. And we just need to come to head and all kids need to be protected regardless of backgrounds and, you know, differences. So. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Sure.